Welcome to the Sound Ridge Music Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shaped the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're so excited to be here with Teresa Peterson, the Soundbridge Music Featured Artist for April. Teresa Peterson is a talented singer-songwriter based in Boulder, Colorado. Her smooth tone echoes the ease of singers like Joni Mitchell and Alison Krauss, floating between octaves with melodies that stretch the line between old and new. Teresa has been kind enough to take some time out of her day to talk with us about her music, her inspiration, and the exciting things she has planned for the future. Well, thank you so much for, for having me in your home and for letting us interview you. I really appreciate it. So for those of you who don't know you very well, tell me a little bit about yourself and your music and your music background and how you came to be where you are today. Yeah, um, I'm a lifelong musician. I've played violin since I was three and guitar since I was like 11. And um, so I've been doing music uh, my whole life. I grew up in Texas and moved here about five years ago and have just had an explosion of music happen, you know, while I've uh, since I've lived here, I mean, it was something that I always did, but I really feel like it sort of happened for me mm -hmm. in a way here um, that it, it hadn't quite ever in Texas. Um, I've just gotten to do so many amazing things like uh, run and host Boulder in the Round, and um, I play around town, and um, yeah, I've had a whole new batch years of batches of songs that have come out mm -hmm. while I've lived here and so yeah yeah and that's a good segue into um, my next comment so your first full-length album came out last August and I had a chance to listen to it and I was just really struck by by your vocals and just the way that your voice put me at ease and just really opened me up to your Look, lyrics yeah. and I'm just really curious to know what lies behind that album? Is there any story behind how it came together and how you were able to like bring it to life? Yeah, totally. And just so you and everyone knows, um, our dog is here. Yeah, the dog. <laughs> so making, making lots of noise. It's not us chewing. Um, yeah, or, or scratching incessantly. Uh, yeah, so we're just, uh, we're in the presence of a puppy here. So making a little noise, little, little home sounds for you guys at home. Um, yeah, no, it's, um, the album, I feel really, like, lucky and blessed with how it turned out, and, because it was kind of done in two different places with two different sets of people, and, um, you know, the whole time I was putting it together, I was just wondering, like, how are these gonna fit, mm -hmm. like, is it gonna all go together, and what's gonna happen, and, um, everyone assured me that it, it would, Everyone kept saying, like, don't worry about, like, what the common thread is. Like, you're the common thread. Mm -hmm. You know, you and your style and your voice and your writing. Like, that's the common thread. So don't worry about it, and it'll come together. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some of the songs I wrote, like, four months before the album came out. Some of the songs I wrote four years before the album came mm -hmm. out. It's just a total mixture because it's the first, like, official... CD like official album that I've ever put out. Yeah, so and it's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. for anybody out there who hasn't oh, heard it, you, you should so check much. it out. Okay. So a lot of people know you from Boulder in the Round, which is the songwriter showcase that you not only founded but you host. Tell me a little bit about that series and how you came to create it. Yeah, um, Hunter Stone and I um, and our friend Wilson Harwood. Um, well, Hunter and I moved here kind of at the same time. And we just wanted to do some sort of songwriters roundtable or something like just the kind of show that catered to the thing that we wanted to play that catered to like the style that we were doing. We just wanted to uh, make a show like that. And um, we were just going to do kind of a workshop at um, his house at first with the idea of later making it a show, you know, to take to Laughing Goat or whatever venue and stuff, and then Vapor Distillery just um, kind of reached out right at the beginning and was like, come here, play here, mm -hmm. and it was 
off and running. Yeah. Started like a week before Christmas in 2014. And the rest and, is history. Um, and now you're yeah, at E-Town. Yeah. <laughs> then we got to move to E-Town two years later, and that's been really, really awesome. We're now an official ticketed E-Town production, mm -hmm. and we just had our first uh, show like that. Hi, Norm. It's the puppy. Norm, Norm really, really wants to be in this. Yes, and it's totally fine. <laughs> Hello, Norm. I'm so happy uh, to meet you. Yeah, so we got to, um, yeah, we're now like a, an official ticketed Etown production, and they've been super awesome. Um, so, yeah, we had our first show last week, and it was standing room only, and I couldn't believe it. And That's it was, great. It was amazing, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we've been... We're really blessed in this area to have so many amazing songwriters and so much talent to pull from all the time. Yep. So, um, and then, yeah, that partnership with E-Town has been just, yeah, really, really awesome. It's a huge blessing in my life. Mm -hmm. okay. So just getting back to your music, what is it that you hope people come away with when they listen to your music? Hmm. I don't know. I don't really think about my music that way. Like, I think I usually, um, I write because of something that I'm coming away with, I guess. And that's where the songs come from in me. And then, um, I don't know, just there's a lot of, like, memory and nostalgia that goes into that. And, um, a lot of imagery and, um... But I guess that I want, I, I'm really fascinated with the idea that you can be so specific to your own story when you're writing and that people um, feel so specifically about their own story uh -huh. when they hear it. Right. Like, I think that's a really interesting thing that I found to be true. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, you know, I'm, I might be talking about something in my head, something that I dreamed up or something that happened to me, but I am... Um, you know, hopefully they hear something of themselves in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what have you got What have you got <laughs> coming up then? What have you got in the works for the next six months or so? Any big plans? Um, I'm going to California next month and playing a few shows out there in the San Diego area. So That's yeah, great. You're around there. If you know anyone around there, yeah. like that's where I'll be. Um, and, uh, yeah, next, next month, like the 8th through 13th of June, and, um, I'm playing at Laughing Goat this month with Antonio Lopez backing me up, mm -hmm. and Meredith Wilder on bass, um, so we're doing a little full band show at Laughing Goat, which I don't do super often, but I'm, like, really excited about, and, um, just having an awesome summer with Boulder in the Round, um, getting a lot of new faces in there. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about what inspired you to become part of Soundbridge Music. Well, I think the idea of it is really lovely, like matching musicians up with people um, that can use their skills and talents for good causes. And um, Anything that builds community between musicians and between musicians and, you know, music appreciators, I think is awesome. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's always sounded to me like you guys just want to, like, provide a way for, like, people to connect mm -hmm. and um, for musicians to be able to use, um, to do what they love for, for good, for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's lovely. That's awesome. <laughs> Is there anything else that um, you'd want people to know about you or anything you want to plug or any, I don't know, any anything that you'd like want to make sure that you get out there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I probably told you all the everything. important things we don't, for the next couple <laughs> months that I could think of. We know everything now. <laughs> yeah, just thank you. Um, thank you for doing what you do and You're going welcome. through so much like time and trouble to do it and just always being so great about it and so hopeful helpful to your community um i would like to plug that you have a show may 17th oh yes <laughs> we'll edit sellers. that out we'll edit that out <laughs> <laughs> well it's in there if you want to use it's it in there forever. i want to plug that <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's important. And that's exciting. So, 
Yay! <laughs> Yay! But thank you so much for, for taking the time again. Yay. And um, we look forward to your show on the 20th. Yay. And for whatever comes next. And can't wait to hear more of your songs. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check back next month for our next featured artist. If you're interested in learning more about SoundBridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org.